Hello and welcome to your January 2020 full moon eclipse looter fucking thing in cancer prediction video. Let's begin. Aries, you're figuring out who you are and you're probably needing to you learn, technically, to use your inner compass to figure things out. Might even help you heal some stuff and shit. Stuff and shit. Okay, Taurus, your karma might be on display and I think like, this is supposed to go for the next two weeks, but this is going to last, for like, six months for everybody, too. But for you, it's definitely going to result in something that, like, pops up at the end of the year. So be very careful. Because, like, you're going to get exactly what you put in. So be very careful. Gemini, you are going to be able to let your instincts guide you more than what they normally do. And it's going to make you a lot more playful than what you usually are. Have fun with that. Cancer, the moon's going to be in your sign, and it is technically your home planet, even though it's a satellite, but, you know, it's whatever. Um, look at yourself more accurately, and don't worry about what other people think about you, okay? Just don't worry about it. Leo, um, you might be worried about endings, but honestly, the endings are going to be good for you. Like, actually, the endings are probably going to propel you into something way better than what you thought. You're just not probably going to see it because it's like... You're going to still want what you had, but it, I don't think you're going to do that anymore. I think you're going to go for something better. Virgo, you've been at a lot of work, so you're probably going to see a lot of what you've sown be reaped now. With a lot of, like, benefits, too. hoo -ah. Libra, new year, new you. You're evaluating your peoples, and you're cycling out the old and bringing in the new. But not in, like, a narcissist sort of way. More like you're getting prepared for the new you, which is cool. Scorpio... You need to concentrate more on, like, the power of you. Because you are dramatic, and that's what makes you the most powerful. And no one's going to wear the same dress as you at a party. So help you God, you will stay. Sagittarius, Mars is going to be in your sign during this time. Well, technically today, but you know what. Um, you're going to be able to put your physical energy and your spiritual energy and all whatever fucking else you want to put together... And go boom and make awesome shit. So embrace that shit. Because I think that's going to be helpful. Especially the wisdom part. Because that's going to be important. The Capricorn. The full moon is like... I guess like your solar... I don't know why... Why am I saying solar return? This fucking moon. That doesn't make any sense. Anyway. Um, you're good with your luck. And it's probably going to help you get rid of some stuff that's just stuck in your life that you want to get rid of. Um, that you've been having kind of a hard time doing that. So, like, just keep that in mind. But please remember, um, replenish your energy because I feel like it's going to really drain the fuck out of you and you're not going to like it. Aquarius, you are going into a new expression and embracing all that is beautiful and loving. Probably before you jump out a window to get away from something. I don't know. I keep getting Aquarius is jumping out a fucking window. I've been getting that actually for you guys for like a week now, and I don't know why, but it's just like every once in a while I was like, Aquarius is going to jump out the fucking window on somebody or some situation. I just know it. I can feel that shit in my bones. It's like, that's how you guys always escape, but that's beside the point. But like, it's like, after, before that, you're embracing everything and you're kind of being sentimental. Okay, so the full moon's trying with Neptune, which has been, I think, in your sign... For a while, I don't know how long, because I'm, I'm stupid, right? But anyway, um, this is a good time to make some fantasies of yours a reality, if you have them, if it's about money, if it's about love, it's about whatever. It, like, you have the power, and probably the imagination to do so, but that's what you want to do. So, that's it. Okay, kids, that was your full moon reading. I hope you guys enjoy it. I'm doing this during the day, so I'm probably not going to upload this till I get to work, so I'm sorry. It's okay, though. I love you all. Bye-bye.